Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on TVJ International in the Cayman Islands and online at onespotmedia.com. Anticipation ahead of, it was high ahead of today's sitting of the House of Representatives to hear how House Speaker Juliet Holness would address the controversial matters before the Parliament. The Auditor General's special audit reports on the Financial Services Commission and Tax Administration Jamaica were returned to the House on Monday. Now also, a letter from Mrs. Holness reprimanding the Clerk of the Houses has been criticized by the opposition and the public bodies. Kirk Wright has our report. It's moments before the start of Parliament and the MPs started rolling in. Among them, leader of government business Edmund Bartlett. We sought a comment about the Auditor General's report being returned and the subsequent reprimand of the Clerk of the House by the Speaker Juliet Holness. That's a matter that we're dealing with, an internal matter. We're dealing with. Do you think to, to throw the administration? It will be that matter of the death. Okay. The, the letter of reprimand, do you think to, to throw the administration under the bus? The Prime Minister would follow, but we were unable to get a word in as he was ushered inside, guarded from the media. Former MP Senator Katie Knight, however, had lots to say on the issue. When Mrs. Curtis was coming up through the ranks, I found her to be a very dedicated public servant, an efficient person, and I found her to be au fait with the rules. Parliament started 41 minutes later than scheduled, and when it did, the House Speaker broke her silence, prefacing her statement about the varying interpretation of the laws governing the matter. I have taken a further decision to today table the reports which are in question. The two Auditor General reports in question, one on the Financial Services Commission and the other Tax Administration of Jamaica were tabled today. Mrs. Holness also announced that she hopes to meet with the Auditor General Pamela Manro Ellis to discuss the matter later this week. But the opposition wanted more. Leader of Opposition Business, Philip Powell, again asked for a reason to be given for the previous reluctance to table the reports, as well as details of the Attorney General's advice to her. As for the letter reprimanding the Clerk of the Houses in the matter, the opposition wanted it to be withdrawn immediately. The tone of it, Madam Speaker, I, I don't think we as a parliament could proceed today without having a discussion on this point. And for you, Madam Speaker, to indicate really what motivated that action yesterday in uh, upbraiding the, the clerk, in uh, disciplining the clerk in the way that it was done. I advise you, both from myself and the clerk, that we are in dialogue and wish to say nothing else at this time. Clark, Clark, announcements, please. Ms. Curtis, announcements. Well, As it relates to supplying the parliament, the legal opinion from the attorney general's chamber, I remain in the same position I did when the ruling was given in that the opinion of the Parliamentary Legal Council was circulated to the Parliament and the public. That has not changed. She again insists that the Speaker's ruling is final in this regard. She defended her view that the reports are not being tabled properly, but says she decided to table them in the interest of airing the findings of the Auditor General's probes public. Kirk Wright, TVJ News.